But um, I'd like to thank some people. I, I'll answer questions, but you know what? Some of our cast is here, and, and uh, could they just come on down? Because it'd be easier, because I'm not sure who showed up. First of all, first I'd like to introduce you to Jeff Pearson. And that's that good-looking guy right there, and you've probably seen him in the Changeling. And Jeff is in everything I make. And I'm a douchebag because I almost forgot to introduce him at the premiere. And I, went, I was so terrified of forgetting him again. But here, come on up on stage. Uh, uh, so, I'd also like to, I'm just going to do an abbreviated version of a thank yous. And that's, I'd like to thank Darko and, and, and Process, of course. And uh, I'd like to thank my costume designer, uh, Sarah Desarego, because um, she's my girlfriend. And... Um, She's uh, why, if, I hope you like the movie because uh, she's why I make movies because she supports me. Unlike Lance, I have a really nice lady in my life. And um, my kid, she doesn't suck either. Uh, you know, the last time I was here, I was saying, you know, getting into Sundance is the nicest thing that ever happened to me outside of my daughter being born. And the crowd went, yay! And they thought she was a newborn. And uh, they didn't realize that she was a... Uh, pounding beers with them. Um, <laughs> and my sisters are here. And, and I got, uh, my, I don't know if Jason's here. I got a good head of there. I, got, I don't want to miss people, but I got all their, oh Jesus, Toby, come back here, you prick. <laughs> Maybe you know him as Bert Green, the guy who says, it was like a ballet. <laughs> okay, this is Morgan Murphy. She's my, uh, my here's the thing. Uh, a lot of these people are my best friends. And, and, um, and that's who I work with. And then people, but here's the deal. It's not like all my friends are talented because I have some really close friends that uh, are talentless. They're just not in the movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, dude, how come I'm not in Oh yeah, next one, man. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so here's another good friend of mine, Toby Huss. All right. They're not sure about you, Toby. Maybe you know him as Artie, the world's strongest man. No, I don't think so. This is a... well, you know. I gotta tell you, uh, it, yeah, whatever. Um, my target audience is getting a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Drunk? No, not drunk. <laughs> well, they're not getting gay. They're age appropriate. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is my uh, uh, other best friend, Tony B. And, and this is not a best friend. She's a new friend. So I'm still kicking the tires on this one. But uh, no, this is Alexi. She's, uh, I think she's uh, really, oh, here's the thing about Alexi. She's not uh, a bitch. She's a really wonderful, sweet actress. And a lot of the stuff she was doing in the movie, uh, she was ad-libbing, which is pretty awesome because uh, I feel a little nervous about uh, ad-libbing around Mork myself. And speaking of ad-libbing around Robin, is Daryl. I didn't see that. No. You just ruined it for me, you prick. I gave it to Oh. It, it really? <laughs> and this, on the end there is Jeff Pearson, and uh, he's another one of my good friends. And uh, he, uh, uh, he's just such a, uh, he's one of the. I don't know, he's one of the best actors I know. I don't want to start a fight, but I, I think he's the best actor I know. But uh, I think Robin, uh, I should say that too, you know. Here's the thing, I'm just as surprised as you are that Robin did the movie. He's been my friend for a million years, and uh, he just saw the last movie, and he read the script, and, and he wanted to be on board. And I think, I just think he's, uh, I think we forget that, or I don't know, I think he's also one of the greatest actors out there in the world. But, um, so, I, I do apologize that he's not here. Um, hey, how did I get Hornsby? Hornsby's people were not playing ball. <laughs> no, uh, I have a friend and I called up and I, I said, I knew that 10 years ago he worked with Bruce Hornsby and I said, uh, are you still friends with Bruce Hornsby? And he goes, I'm making his new album. And uh, so then we got Bruce Hornsby to do our movie. Okay, I'm gonna answer some questions. Uh, way in the back, sir. 
talk about the original idea that you started with in your screenwriting process. Also, was that your original ending? That's the original ending, and, and, and he asked if that my, my process. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> my process is continuing to evolve as a, no, um, my process is kind of like my stand-up, and I come up with some idea that it feels like, I knew I wanted to make a movie where it's about a guy who, who, who learns that it's important to be with people that, that like you, and that the things in life don't necessarily, you know, the, the things that American you know, value, like fame and success, isn't really that important. But, but the real initial idea was, what about, it was that speech, you know? It was before the autoerotic fixation and all that hit me. It was just how, I hope I could write, I thought, let's try to write a movie where you're rooting for a guy who stands up in front of a crowd and says that his dead son's a douchebag. So that was a huge fucking hole. And I said, okay, now let's start. Truly, that's how I do it. And the, the way I write is I, I go into a, a, a chain quality hotel and I check in. And they always think I'm the Unabomber or something. It's this weird guy who's smoking and pacing and um, not talking to anyone. And I, and, I, and, I, and I do that so I feel guilty if I don't finish because of, you know, I'm paying for it. And that way, also, my friends don't call me up and go, dude, let's go out. So uh, that's how I do that. Hi. What was like on the set with you and Robin Williams? That was, uh... Well, crazy! <laughs> um, Non-stop left, right! It was, uh... 18 fucking hours a day. I tell you, it was like, um... Who was the woman in the Marx Brothers movie who was always going, you know, oh, getting upset? Um, Margaret Dumont, yeah, I felt like her because I had all my friends running around like the Marx Brothers and I'd be like going, come on guys, we really gotta finish this. The Bond Company's gonna fucking kill me and replace me with Favreau. We really gotta... <laughs> Any other questions? Oh wait, let me get... Hi. Oh, well, thanks. Wow, thanks. Were you at all tempted to have him continue the charade? Oh, um, no. I, I really thought, like, because the last movie I made, it was about, the, at the end, the woman says, you know, I've learned that it's the, uh, that it's important to lie. That it's the living up to the lies that, uh, that we tell about ourselves is what makes us better people. And, <laughs> and that actually irritated people more than the bestiality. And, um, <laughs> and on this one, I wanted to do the flip side, like, like when telling the truth doesn't make you look any better, but it was the right thing to do, and and that, and that once again was kind of the genesis of the yeah, idea. I'm glad you did, it. did you have any trouble um, with him uh, getting naked for the last? Evening? No, him getting nude was his idea. <laughs> he was like, he was like going, I was thinking maybe maybe uh, maybe I get naked. And I go, uh, I go well, let me think about that. And then, uh, and then I walked through it. And I came back. And I go. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I also got naked that day too, but it, it, well, that's true. But um, I jumped off the board nude because it was closed and it was a public pool and you're going, fuck, I'm never gonna have this chance again. <laughs> it's in the DVD extras. <laughs>